Hello there and welcome back to this video series on control systems. In the previous video we have seen mechanical uh, translational rotational systems in the past couple of videos and we derived their transfer function. In this video we will kind of try to specify what is a servo motor kind of give background information and specify the basic principle of a DC motor. We will see that a DC motor, you can use it as a field control DC motor or armature control DC motor. In subsequent video, maybe we will see what we mean by these. With this uh, brief uh, background, we will begin this uh, video. The term servo comes from the Latin root servus, which means slave. So, servo motors got their name from the fact that they, they are steady and they can be relied on to operate exactly as commanded. So, we say that a servo motor is a linear actuator or a rotary actuator that allows for precise control of linear or angular position or acceleration or velocity. For our purposes, we specify uh, that um, any motor that is capable of controlling parameters like position, speed or acceleration is called a servo motor regardless of how this control is achieved. So we can say in a rough sense that a servo motor is any motor that has an encoder to measure the position and a driver that is something that controls the motor and these servo motors they can operate at very high speed and deliver very reliable torque. So for our convenience we consider servo motors based on the source of power. If the source is direct current we call it DC servo motor and these are capable of low power and low torque that is low power low torque applications relatively low power low torque applications you use dc servo motor high torque applications we use ac servo motors and then you may have very high torque hydraulic sensor pneumatic servo motor hydraulic servo motor and so on as we are showing here with blinking letters uh, in our course we will consider only dc servo motor we will kind of see a bird's eye view this picture here shows a commercially available DC servo motor uh, which consists of four uh, main components a DC motor, a gear set or if the shaft is directly connected there may not be a gear set but generally a gear set, a control circuit and an encoder which is basically a sensor. Okay? You sense the, sense the uh, actual position then compare it with the desired position, find the error, amplify the error or condition it or apply any control algorithm, give it to a DC motor, then it drives a gear set and which actually drives the system which we represented here as the actuator. So broadly when you say a DC servo motor, we mean these four things put together nicely assembled. The principle of operation of a uh, DC motor may be represented with the help of this left hand rule. Uh, I would strongly urge you to remember this figure. Your uh, middle finger indicates the direction of current as shown here in the current carrying conductor. This is the current carrying conductor and your index finger shows the direction of magnetic field going from north to south these are the magnetic lines um, magnetic flux lines if these two are existing then we say that a force as indicated by the direction of the thumb uh, comes into picture so we say when a current carrying conductor is placed in a magnetic field it experiences force in the case of a motor, this current carrying conductor is wound on the armature which experiences force and rotates. The magnetic field is created either by permanent magnets or by electromagnets. And we can see 
that there are two variables here that we can use to control current and the field okay the larger the current the more will be the force the larger the field the more will be the force because there are two variables field and current we say that there are two possibilities one you can keep the field to be constant and vary the current or you can keep the current constant and vary the field in case we use a uh, magnetic field strength to is kept constant and the magnitude of the current is varied to achieve the required force it is called armature uh, controlled dc servo motor if the magnitude of the current is kept constant and the magnetic field strength is varied to achieve the required force it is called field controlled dc motor so you have armature controlled dc motor field controlled dc motor in our syllabus we have armature controlled dc servo motor we try to consider such a motor armature controlled dc motor and try to see how we can use it in a servo application to summarize what we have seen so far we will say that a servo motor is any motor that is used to control position speed or acceleration and we see that servo motors definitely have a control circuit and an encoder to measure the position of the shaft and we have seen that dc motors can be either field controlled or armature controlled i think that's all we have uh, for today have a great day